Good evening, Mr. Nilakshi. Today we are going to present an issue faced by Singer Sri Lanka when handling one of their international brands called Hitachi. Singer Sri Lanka was established in 1877, introducing sewing machines to the Sri Lankan market, and in 1957 they entered into the consumer durable market, introducing a wide range of home appliances. Singer has branched out from single product to wide range of appliances and electronics satisfying the consumer needs of the Sri Lankan market having a multi-brand strategy. So under Singer, they have a range of international brands such as Hitachi, Beko, Sharp, Panasonic, Kenwood, Molinex and so on. So under these brands, there are several categories such as refrigerators, washing machines, air conditioners, kitchen appliances, digital products as well as the agro products. So Hitachi is a Japanese web brand established in 1910 and it is a very diversified conglomerate among telecommunication, consumer durables, electronics and power systems. So Hitachi brand was started in Singer 15 years ago and Singer is the exclusive distributor of Hitachi in Sri Lanka. Currently Hitachi is present under several categories such as refrigerators, air conditioners and the, uh, televisions and selected range of home appliances. Thank you. Over to you, Hira. Thanks, Manuri. So, as said, Manuri, the yes, Hitachi is a Japanese-based uh, uh, multinational company who, uh, who provide uh, sophisticated uh, business operations and business uh, solutions for the customers. So, in Sri Lanka, uh, it operates under Sri, in the Sri Lanka uh, from 1910. Uh, and when it's come to the international uh, brand portfolio, it has underperformed for last consecutive years. Uh, when it's come to the table, you can clearly see that Hitachi is uh, underperforming in last consecutive three years. In 2018, Hitachi is, uh, uh, has only 380 million sales. In latest, in 2020, it has only 160 million sales. But with comparing with Sony, it nearly 100,300 million sales in annually. So, it's clear that Singer is underperforming in Sri Lankan uh, uh, consumer durable industry. Uh, further, when it's come to the Sri Lanka, uh, normally Sri Lankan consumers are uh, biased for uh, buying uh, good uh, quality uh, Japanese product uh, like Toyota, uh, Honda, Mitsubishi in vehicle sector. Even though Hitachi is a Japanese uh, good quality product, uh, it loses in the market. So we uh, went deep by deep and analyzed the uh, whatever the uh, uh, the uh, prices uh, in the market with compared to the international brands in different categories. As you can see, you can clearly see that in the television sector, in the refrigerator sector, and the most popular air conditioning sector, you can see that Hitachi as a brand it maintain a premium cost for their products. The problem is that in the market, we have several other brands who have same quality in terms of technology, but in a very low price. So definitely consumers in Sri Lanka are not uh, willing to pay uh, whatever amount for the same product. So these are the reason for underperforming Hitachi for last con three consecutive years. So further, uh, we have analyzed the uh, single advertising budget for 2019, uh, when it's come to the 2019 uh, budget, uh, Singer Sri Lanka has uh, spent 35 million rupees for Sony, while it spent just 4 million rupees for Hitachi. So it clearly shows that even Singer Sri Lanka did not pay any attention for Hitachi branding. So it makes sense that uh, this kind of a uh, low budget marketing has uh, impact the Hitachi brand equity very badly. So uh, let's see how these uh, effects and the factors affect the single Sri Lanka and their stakeholders in next few slides. Thank you very much and over to you my friend Darshan. Thank you Hira. Now let's look at the significance of the problem in terms of the single as well as to its stakeholders. Let's discuss some key impact areas in significance areas. Mainly when we consider the single, there is a huge impact on company PNL as there is 
portfolio sales may drop and the profitabilities might affect it severely if this continue in future as well. Further, the cash flows of Singer may affect hugely due to the high inventory levels. Further, this has impact on overall value of the shares and it will continue to drop the sh value of the shares. In addition to that, there is an environmental issue come into play if these outdated inventory needed to be scrapped. When we can see the cause effect diagram which we call as fish bone diagram which impact Singer due to the underperforming brand. It will cause financial as well as non-financial damages to Singer. We identified finance, inventory, marketing, environment and HR as the cost effective areas. Okay, let's move on to the literature review. Thank you, Darshana. Brand equity. The meaning of the brand equity has been discussed in many different ways for different purposes in different decades. The meaning of the brand equity can be interpreted in the perspective of retailers, manufacturers and consumers. In 1995, Lasser said, the investors who are investing to develop a brand, you always daily focus on the return which they are getting in the investment, not on the quality. But the manufacturer who is developing the brand will be always concerned about the uh, product quality and the implementation of the product. The brand quality as per Kim in 2003, which is, is dividing by three parts like consumer based perspective, financial perspective and combined perspective. Let's still move to loyalty. Loyalty in the sense, people who are in the market using certain brand and they will be keep on using a certain brand. Based on this, there are a lot of people have done their researches. In 1990, Asker did the research and he is saying there are certain kind of people, they will be moved to brand to brand when they see the cheaper brand with the same features. But in 2020, Dialo did the research and what he is saying is brand image as a key factor that creates a brand loyalty and strengthening brand equity. There are customers will be staying with the existing product since the product is uh, trustable and they attach to the project, product and they are being very loyal to the product. In 2018, Kong did a uh, research and found an interesting thing. There are 57% of people still will remain with the existing product even though they found same product the same features the less price they will not be moved they will be existing with the same product that they were using over to Seneca. thank you in market communication you can see the brand awareness build the brand presence brand presence long term build the brand equity there's a positive relationship with the brand awareness and the brand equity uh, when the brand awareness will be going up, then the brand will be going up. It is, it is happening in the long term. So, uh, advertising budget number yeah. and the quality of the budget will be definitely impacted to the brand equity through developing the brand awareness. So, uh, number two, there is there's a research that means uh, few literature and editions, 2017 and uh, 18, you can see uh, how that the brand awareness impacted to the brand equity. The second one, uh, second slide you can see, uh, brand uh, associations, the attributes in built with the brand association, tangible or the intangible, those are directly uh, build the customer's mind, the, that means the brand image will be deposited in the customer's mind. So those attributes are very important. Creating the differentiates in the customer's mind towards the brand is directly uh, centralized in this brand association. So the skills of the marketing people uh, is really matter here uh, to uh, create the novel and creative way of uh, presenting the attributes either intangible or tangible towards the brand that will be directly uh, uh, impact the brand equity and you can see uh, 
no sort of literature justification to the brand awareness and the uh, brand association. And next slide, you can see our uh, step framework. We, uh, we have a few suggestions uh, go throughout the entire assignment. Uh, few uh, operational uh, issues, operational issues, especially sales and marketing budget preparation, uh, sales forecasting, and uh, product development and uh, process development, especially recruitment and the setting of KPI. Those three factors are directly uh, in the operational parts. These operational parts uh, are the uh, inside of the this entire uh, uh, issue, entire problem. So, these suggestions are directly converted into the positive uh, uh, revenue growth if those uh, correction could be done. Then the sales revenue of Hitachi uh, will be increased. That is the final goal of the uh, organization. 